Hey familia, your girl Miranda here, back with another movie haul. So today, I got some things in the mail. I got in my big old package from Hamilton Book, as well as a title from Target, something from Facebook, and then a package from Ray's Movies. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into this, you guys. I will save Hamilton Book for last because you guys know I tend to go a bit overboard when it comes to Hamilton Book. So let's just go ahead and start off with... Target. So you guys, I literally only ordered one title and they sent me this big old box. Um, but I guess it's kind of a good thing because it does have a slip cover on it. And you know, sometimes like in envelopes, they can get damaged and stuff. Um, but anywho, this is a title that a lot of people have been raving about. I've seen like a million posts on it already. And um, I think for the most part, people just really like the slip cover on it because it is lenticular. I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. Um, but it is a Target exclusive, and that is uh, Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. And you can see there it has the lenticular slip. Um, it does star Kristen Wiig and Annie Momolo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but it is the Blu-ray DVD, and you do get the digital in here. Um, it says only at Target. It's a premium lenticular packaging plus over 20 minutes of bonus content on the Blu-ray. But you guys, like, I don't know. I've heard lots and lots of mixed reviews on this already. And um, I guess it's just one of those films that you either love it or you hate it. Um, but I will say, so it does go for like 15 bucks on Amazon. I think the last time I checked anyways. Um, and, you know, for a couple bucks more, I got this for 17 on Target just for the slip. Because obviously the one on Amazon doesn't come with the... Uh, I think it comes with a slip, but just doesn't come with like the lenticular part of it. But the funny thing is though, you guys, like as I'm looking at this, like everybody's all hyped over this slip cover, but I feel like this is literally just the original like slip cover with these like lenticular plastic just slapped on there. So it's like you're paying a couple extra bucks for a little piece of plastic, in my opinion. But anywho, nonetheless, I am curious about this film. I mean, just the title in general. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna be some fun, gonna be a good time. So check it out and uh, see whether I like it or I hate it. So <laughs> anywho, we have Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. I do love Kristen Wiig though. All right, next up, I did get in one of my packages from Facebook Marketplace. Again, I still have more on the way, you guys. I've just been finding some really cool deals and some really great titles. Um, this is actually somebody that I have bought from before. Um, and they just, they have some good things and, um, everything's been in mint condition and everything. So, uh, first up you guys, and the, this person, their Blu-rays are, uh, two for five. So two fifty a piece for all of these. Um, so I did get the, uh, 4k of Incredibles two for $2 and 50 cents. So I thought that that was awesome. Now I just need to get the first Incredibles and I will be set. Um, but I really enjoyed this one. I think I honestly like the second one better than the first one. Like baby Jack Jack is just freaking hilarious in this one. Um, a lot of fun. Uh, so Incredibles 2 on 4K, you guys. Next up, I've this is a film that I've always just kind of passed by, but I've recently heard more like good things about it so i wanted to go ahead and pick it up we have matt damon and heath ledger in the brothers grim um then this one is an upgrade it's the blu-ray dvd of wally i do have the dvd but it's like kind of packaged weird um, so i just thought i would go ahead and upgrade again try and upgrade all of my you know disney pixar animation stuff um, and then last we have Deep Blue C3. Now, I have the first one, I don't have the second one, so I'll have to look into getting that. And I have not seen this one, you guys. I think, what year did this one come out? It's more recent, this was a 2020, so last year, uh, Deep Blue C3. I haven't heard too many great things about it, but I thought I would go ahead and check it out. I absolutely love the first one. All right, you guys, Ray's Movies. So she messaged me on Instagram, she was like, hey, I bought you a couple things from your wish list. Um, they'll be there this day. And so they ended up actually getting here a day early, you guys. But what is in this package here is as much a mystery to you as it is to me. Um, but that was so sweet of you. Thank you so, so much. You did not have to, girly. But I really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and see, you guys. Um, you know, in the description box, if you guys ever want to just check out my list, things that I'm on the hunt for, um, it's in the description box for you guys to see. 
Uh, anywho, I'm going to take out the little papers because they come with like a little paper. Um, just says, enjoy your gift from flower. That's what they all say. Okay. So, first up, we have, oh, so she actually recently just hauled this movie, you guys, and it really, really caught my interest. Looks like a really great watch, you guys. You have uh, Halle Berry and Jessica Lange in Losing Isaiah. It just looks like a really beautiful movie, so I'm very, very excited to check this one out. It looks very sad, very heartfelt um you know drama of some sort and so yeah you guys just the storyline of it just really captured my interest and so i am super excited to check this one out all right and then the other title in here is ah <laughs> the original kings of comedy you guys uh, I have really been getting into collecting uh, these like stand-up shows and stuff. This one stars Steve Harvey, D.L. Hughley, Cedric the Entertainer, and Bernie Mac. Um, what year is this one from? Oh, this is from 2000. So thank you so, so much for these. I greatly appreciate the donation to the collection. Guys, go check out Ray's channel. She's awesome. She's fantastic. She just has a really amazing collection. Um, Blu-rays. She's into, you know, steel books and all of that. And just she has a really great collection, you guys, and does some really great hauls. So thank you again, girly, for this. I really, really appreciate you adding these titles to my collection. All right, you guys. Again, go check out her channel. It'll be linked in the description box below. Moving right along to Hamilton Book, you guys. So you guys know they drop new items monthly. Um, I I don't know if it's like the first or the second Monday of the month. I think it actually just kind of varies, but they once a month add new things to the site. And so I'm always, you know, checking back. Um, shout outs to my buddy Kenny for always giving me the heads up uh, right when they drop. Uh, so yeah, you guys. Uh, they got in a few new things, not a whole, whole lot that I was truly interested in this time around. Um, so it's a bit on the smaller side, like kind of half of what I would normally get. But anywho, uh, I have one steelbook, some Blu-rays, and then some DVDs as well. You guys, I posted this on my Instagram to share with you guys. Um, it's a really, really great deal. Um, the steelbook is this uh, Grindhouse exclusive, and it's the uh, double feature of Planet Terror and death proof this is such a really cool steelbook you guys um i vaguely remember planet terror but i don't think i've ever seen death proof um so i'm very excited to revisit that planet terror and then check out death proof but you guys the steelbook this steelbook right here on hamilton book was only 15 bucks 14.95 15 bucks People are selling this for as much as like $150 or more on eBay, which is insanely ridiculous. Um, but so yeah, I do believe they are still available right now. So definitely jump on it, you guys, because this is a really good deal. And I tried to see if they had this actually on Grindhouse's website and they didn't. Um, so yeah, great little double feature here. Steelbook. Uh, actually, somebody that I'm following on Instagram, they hauled, I want to say it was like 15 copies of this for like reselling purposes. So if you're a reseller, I mean, it's definitely going to make you some profit, I think. Um, but I mean, I'm not really like into that or anything, but I had to get this, you guys. I just thought it was really, really cool. So I'm happy to have this in the collection. So lots of blind buys this time around, you guys. Like I said, like a lot of the things they got in, like I've never watched like a lot of them. So I really don't know <laughs> what all I picked up. Obviously, you know, I did my research and just kind of looked into like the titles that sounded most interesting and stuff. So that's what I picked up. Um, but anywho, uh, this is actually one though I've been wanting to see for a while and then I've just never did for whatever reason. Um, so it was super cheap. So I went ahead and finally picked it up. And that is Red Riding Hood with Amanda Seyfried. So I'm looking forward to finally visiting this one. Um, this next one has actually been on the site for a while, but it has been on my wish list. And so I finally caved and went ahead and got it. Heard good things about it. I actually found out about this title through a fellow uh, friend on Instagram. Um, but it's a psychosexual thriller and it's called Snapdragon. And it does star Pamela Anderson, you guys. So I'm excited for this one. I want to go ahead and check that out. Next up, we have Jesse Eisenberg and 
Mia, uh, I can never pronounce her last name, Wasik. Kauska, Wasikowska, I guess. I've seen her in so, so many things. You guys are really like her work and obviously Jesse Eisenberg, but this is called The Double. Definitely caught my interest, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. Uh, next up, I thought this was actually pretty cool. Like, uh, you know, Prince didn't really have too, too many movies, but I mean, aside from Purple Rain, obviously, you have Graffiti Bridge. Doesn't have the greatest of ratings, you guys, but this is also one that I'd been wanting to see for a while. So I'm very happy to add this one to the collection. Now this next one, this looks super like creepy, the cover, but I found out about this title through Brandon over at Cinefessions. Shout out to you. Um, so he actually recommended this movie, said it's actually pretty twisted. Um, and that is lovely Molly. Like check out that cover, you guys. Like, I don't know, it's creepy. Uh, definitely looks pretty, pretty scary. So uh, I'm looking forward to checking this one out. So thanks for the recommendation, Brandon. Uh, this one, never heard of, but it looks like some fun. Ratings are pretty decent on this one, too. Um, I only recognize Paul Giamatti. Mm, a couple of the names or the faces look familiar, but I don't really like recognize the names. Um, but that is John Dies at the End. I don't know. looks maybe cheesy, but I'm going to go ahead and check it out. Next up, we have Brian Cranston, Diane Lane, and Helen Mirren in Trumbo. Also stars John Goodman and Elle Fanning. But you guys, what really caught my interest is that I uh, this is actually a true story based on the uh, Hollywood's top screenwriter, Dalton Trumbo. It takes place back in like 1947. And basically, it talks about how him and like other... Uh, Artists were jailed and blacklisted for their political beliefs and um, just kind of how it all unravels the exposure and everything of the industry. And so it just sounds like a really great watch. So I went ahead and picked this one up. And then the last Blu-ray that I got, we have Bud Abbott and Lou Costello in Dance With Me Henry. Again, myself, I'm not too familiar with a lot of these black and white films, but I'm trying to add them to the collection slowly but surely. And this one just really caught my interest. Looks like a fun watch, so I went ahead and picked it up. So moving on to the DVDs, you guys. I went ahead and picked up this movie called Deep Murder. It is a horror comedy that uh, takes place inside the world of a softcore porn industry, something like that. <laughs> um, basically, they're killing off the actors, and so now they have to, you know, avoid all the, you know, cliches of the industry and uh, become real people in order to find the murderer and stuff. So I don't know, it looks super cheesy, but a lot of fun. Ratings are pretty good on this one. So yeah, I'm really curious to check this one out. All right, next up, totally random, but it's this movie called Lemon, and it actually comes in a yellow case, which I think is totally awesome. Um, but you actually have a pretty decent cast in here. Um, but honestly, like, I don't know if this is gonna be boring, if it's gonna be funny, cause like the way it like lays everything out here in, uh, like if you guys wanna pause and read about it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so we'll see. I really don't know what to think about this one, but I do enjoy, uh, well, obviously Judy Greer, Michael Cera, Nia Long, uh, there's Brett Gelman and Sherry Appleby. So I was curious about this and it comes in a yellow case. Hey, why not? Next up, I picked up Dead Shock. This looks to be like some sort of a slasher film. Uh, it says, like Cabin in the Woods by way of Stranger Things. I've never seen Stranger Things. Cabin in the Woods is really great. But basically, um, these kids, so the kids have to like save their parents from this like murderer in the cabin next to them or something. So, you know, some sort of slasher. Uh, looks like some fun, could be good. We'll see. Next up, we have seasons one and two of Pee Wee's Playhouse. I haven't seen this show in forever. Now, even growing up, I wasn't necessarily the hugest fan of Pee Wee, but I did enjoy his stuff. Um, so I went ahead, I thought this would be just fun to revisit Pee Wee's Playhouse. 
um, let's say how many, you get 25 uh, sh uh, episodes on here, shows, whatever you want to call them. It says top 25 cult television shows ever. So, <laughs> um, TV Guide named Pee Wee's Playhouse number 10. That makes no sense. It says 25, but then under it, it says all 23 wild and crazy episodes from the first two seasons. So I guess it's 23 episodes on here. And it's Ollie from 1986, 87, 88, 89. So this should be a fun revisit. Next up, I picked up this four movie marathon comedy favorites collection. Um, it has Twins, Junior, Pure Luck, and Dragnet. Uh, twins is from 1989. Junior is from 1994. Pure Luck, 1991. And Dragnet, 1987. We have another multi-feature pack here. Looks like this one actually comes with the art card on the front. But I thought this one was really great. So you have Dillinger, the original, the Manchurian Candidate, Miller's Crossing, and the original Taking of Felum 123. So I'm very excited to have this one in the collection. I've actually, uh, I don't know. I don't think I've seen any of these, to be honest. Miller's Crossing sounds very familiar, though. Um, and I've seen the remake of the Taking of Felum 123 but never the original. Uh, let's see, Dillinger is from 1973. Manchurian Candidate is from 1962. Miller's Crossing is 1990. And then The Taking of Felon 123 is 1974. So very cool. And like I said, th this uh, thing on the front is actually an art card. So I don't know if the artwork underneath is going to be like the exact same but yeah i thought this was a pretty cool little set and then last but not least i got this for the kiddos i thought that they would like this um they've recently really gotten into the movie and um you know they constantly watch it and so i went ahead and picked it up it's the mr peabody and sherman complete collection you get uh 91 tail wagging episodes it actually comes with a slip cover on it so, yeah, we'll see how they like these because, like I said, they do like the movie and they've been constantly watching it. So hopefully they'll get a kick out of this and want to watch this too. And that is it for everything that I got in the mail today, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Join the family if you have not, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.